Hi. Now in this series of videos, what I'm going to be talking about is proof. And in this video, I'm just recapping on some proofs that you should already be familiar with. First of all, proving identities. If you've been watching earlier tutorials, then you'd have come across, say, questions like these, where you had to show that x minus 5, for instance, all squared, was identical to x squared minus 10x plus 25. Or if you looked at the trigonometric section, where we were looking at proving trigonometric identities, you'd have had a question, say, like this one here. Now remember, the identical sign is this symbol here. It means identical to. That is, that the two expressions on either side of that sign are always equal to one another. Whatever the value of x or whatever the value of theta, we aren't looking at equations here. And when we went to show a result like this, for instance, we need to take it in slow steps. Something like x minus 5 all squared was identical to, and then rather than just going straight into the answer, show that it was the two brackets, say, multiplied together, and then expand it, giving us all the terms, and then grouping up the terms and simplifying gives us the x squared minus 10x plus 25. And when it came to, say, proving the trigonometric identity, Remember, you could start with either the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and then you tried to prove that it was identical to the opposite side. So, if we started, say, with the left-hand side, we'd have, say, proof. Copy down the left-hand side, and then start to show the stages. First stage could be something like, this is identical to cos theta over sine theta, but for tan theta, replace it with sine theta over cos theta. And then put all of this over lowest common multiple, which was sine theta cos theta. And then your numerator becomes cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. And you'd have been familiar with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta as being identical to 1. So it would come out as being 1 over sine theta cos theta. So this is just reminding you then of how we would lay out an identity. And if you're unsure of these examples, then, as I say, do go back and check out earlier tutorials on these. Now, you've got other kinds of proofs that you would have encountered. I can't list them all here, but they would have been in the tutorials or exam questions. Here's a typical question where you had to show that if x squared plus 6x plus k equals 0, k being a constant, if it has one real root, show that k equals 9. This would have been a kind of question you would have got on, say, roots of a quadratic equation. So, to do this, you would have known that for one real root, b squared minus 4ac equals 0 in the quadratic formula. b, remember, is the 6, a is... 1, the coefficient of x squared, and c is the constant k. So if you did that calculation, b squared minus 4ac equals 0, substituted your values in, you'd have got 6 squared minus 4 times k equals 0. Simplify that, 36 minus 4k equals 0, and then add 4k to both sides, giving you 36 equals 4k, and divide both sides by 4, giving you k equals 9. So this is just a selection then of proving identities and other kind of proofs which you should be already familiar with. Now in the next video though, I'm going to be looking at two further types of proof, that is proof by exhaustion and proof by deduction. So hopefully I'll see you there.